This is a regular mirror, but what if I were to heat it so hot that it began to glow red hot? Would it still act like a mirror? Are hot mirrors as reflective as room temperature mirrors? Well, today I'm going to heat up a mirror until it's glowing almost white hot and see if we can still see a reflection on it. First of all, let's define what a mirror is. Clearly, mirrors need to be highly reflective to work well, but that's not the only property they need. For example, this is the most reflective substance in the world called spectralon, but it just looks white. It doesn't look like a mirror at all. To make a good mirror, the material needs to reflect most of the light that hits it, but it also needs to reflect the light in a particular way called specular reflection. Most objects that aren't shiny like this spectralon can still reflect light, but their reflection is called diffuse reflection. Diffuse reflection doesn't just occur because of a lack of a polished surface. For example, this is polished porcelain, but it doesn't look like a mirror. And the reason it doesn't look like a mirror is that light penetrates it slightly and it hits layers below the surface. Each time it crosses the boundary between different crystal structures in the material, the light gets reflected in different directions. As a result, the light doesn't maintain the same angle it came in at. If we want to keep the same angle of incidence, we need a material that doesn't let light penetrate very far. Metals are very good at this because light doesn't penetrate deeply into them. When light strikes a metal surface, the metal's conductivity causes the electric field of the light wave to make the free electrons in the metal oscillate. The oscillating electrons then generate their own electromagnetic waves that oppose the incoming light. So the light is either reflected right away or absorbed within the first few nanometers of hitting the metal. This means that if we polish the metal to a very smooth surface, it'll reflect the light at the same angle it hits. Smooth metals provide specular reflection, and since metals are also excellent reflectors, we don't lose much light in the absorption process. So that's why on a regular mirror you have a glass surface, but then on the back of it you have a thin coating of metal. So let's start with a regular household mirror and see what happens when we try to heat it red hot. <laughs> if you heat the glass unevenly, the glass just breaks. So let's get a smaller shard of the mirror and see what happens when we heat it up. You can see that as we start to get it red hot, the mirror stops being reflective. But this is because on the back of the mirror, that thin layer of metal is oxidizing in the air. Instead of a traditional mirror that has glass, let's just use a polished stainless steel mirror like this. Now we don't have to worry about different layers delaminating. Now this stainless steel will oxidize a little bit, but it should stay reflective just with a slight color change. In order to see the reflection better, I want the object to be bright. So I'm gonna set this marble on the mirror and then shine my green laser on the marble so we can clearly see the reflection and the color of it and see how it changes as the mirror starts to glow. So let's see what happens here. Here we go. Let's start heating it up and see if it stays reflective now. Whoa, I can still see the reflection, look at that. You can still see it. The mirror's glowing almost white hot and it almost drowns out the reflection of the marble, but you can see that the reflection is still visible. It's a little distorted because the mirror isn't being heated evenly, so it's bending a little bit, but this is awesome. I see a green glowing ball, but also the mirror's glowing red hot. What's cool is that right where it's the hottest, the green light from the ball mixes with the red light from the mirror and the ball looks yellow. So the light colors are adding together with additive color mixing. I've never seen a reflective surface that's reflecting the image while also glowing red hot. What's cool about this is that the way the light adds together, it looks like the ball itself that's reflecting off the mirror is glowing red hot, even though it's not. I knew this should be possible, but I wasn't quite sure what it would look like. But there you have it. A mirror can be red hot and still act like a mirror. This is so cool. Now before we continue, you want to know what I'm tempted to do with all this heat is grill some burgers. 
especially with the help of today's sponsor, ButcherBox. ButcherBox delivers high quality, sustainably sourced, hormone-free protein straight to your door. You can get premium quality grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, crate-free pork, and wild-caught seafood. One of my favorite things about ButcherBox is the convenience. No more running to the store at the last second to get the cuts of meat you need. Everything is delivered right to your door on your schedule. And you can customize your box to get the specific meats you want and the specific cuts. And if you ever need to pause, skip, or modify your deliveries, they make it super easy. Right now, there's an amazing deal. If you sign up for ButcherBox between November 20th and December 4th, you get to choose between New York strip, ribeye, or filet mignon free in every box for an entire year. That means you can get premium steaks delivered to your door for free. Another thing I love is that not only is the quality amazing, but their meats are also sustainably and ethically sourced. And you can feel great knowing you're feeding your family proteins with no added hormones or antibiotics. So whether you're planning a special holiday feast or just elevating your weeknight dinners, ButcherBox has got you covered. So don't miss this limited time offer. You can sign up using my link in the description to get free steaks for a year, plus an exclusive discount on your first box. And thanks again to ButcherBox for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. What's fascinating about this setup is how the electrons manage to keep everything aligned with the behavior of the light. Even though the atoms and electrons are constantly vibrating and emitting their own light, they still respond correctly when it comes to reflecting incoming light. But is there no interference at all? Is the reflecting abilities the same as when it was at room temperature? Well, researchers have found that as you increase the temperature of metals, they decrease in reflectivity. So this is a graph of real data from a research paper. Look how much the reflectivity drops for aluminum as the temperature increases. It starts at about 85% reflectivity, and then at around 900K, it's only at 60%. That's crazy how much it drops. The reason this happens is because remember that metals make good reflectors because the electrons in the metal respond to the electromagnetic wave of light hitting them. In order to do this, they need electrons that can easily move through the metal. But the hotter the metal is, the more collisions the electrons have with other atoms in the metal, and they can't reflect the wave properly. This means that the hotter the metal is, the more light it absorbs versus reflects. So even though we could still see a reflection in my experiment here, that means there was likely a huge drop in reflectivity, but it was hard to tell because the mirror was glowing. This means that the hotter a metal gets, the better it absorbs radiation, making it heat up even faster. This is especially useful when you're using lasers to heat an object. In fact, this whole video came as a result of my last video talking about lasers to cut a metal, and it made me wonder what would happen to the reflectivity of an object as it heated up. So in the end, we found that cold mirrors work better than warm mirrors. But if you have enough light, you can still see a specular reflection, even in a glowing red hot mirror. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.